Let me introduce to you our next presenter. She is a Bachelor of Arts in English Language Studies student at the Department of Communications, Linguistics, and Literature at the University of San Carlos. Her research spans children's language acquisition, teen slang, and Cebuano language exploration. As the community executive at the com as at the company Cebu, she excels as the head of sponsorship and partnership, showcasing exceptional organizational and interpersonal skills. Gracing us to the stage, we have Miss Christine Biano. A round of applause, please. So good afternoon, everyone. So while waiting for my presentation, um, let me start with a story of how Sinigang and Sardinas um, emerged. A Sinigang na Sardinas. So, um, months ago, my husband and I were trying to do meal preparations for a week. And then with the challenge of budget, um, we ended up Choosing kanang mga instant langani, fried um, instant noodles or di ba, meal prep da yun instant noodles or kanang mga i fridge ni mo for one week and then what happened was nagbalik balik na siya. So nag think me, og unsa man ato ang favorite nga food and we thought of sinigang. So we love sinigang, we love sabaw, we love veggies. And also, um, comfort food pud siya. And then, when we were, when we would make sinigang, I can remember na um, the procedure and also the ingredients kaya daghandud siya. So, thus, we thought of an alternative na how do we make a simple sinigang and at the same time packed with the nutrients that that is present in traditional sinigang and also na apoy karni na ang karni karon as we know ni inflate na jud ang price so about sinigang so in filipino culinary tradition sinigang is a cherished dish known for its flavorful broth and varied ingredients rooted in pre-colonial sour soup practices, and us, influenced by Spanish colonization, Sinigang incorporated meats like pork and beef, and also um, seafood, chicken. However, as um, economic challenges now prompt a search for affordable alternatives, and also the rising living cost, um, we are forced to compromise in our ingredients variety. So this module explores crafting sinigang na sardinas, a friendly alternative, a budget-friendly alternative to traditional versions with canned sardines addressing the economic constraints, constraints impacting ingredient choices. So we have five objectives in this module. One is to understand the concept of sinigang na sardinas and its role as a budget-friendly alternative to traditional, traditional sinigang stews. Next, to familiar, uh, the students will familiarize themselves with the necessary ingredients needed to create sinigang na sardinas. Third, um, they will follow a step-by-step -step guide on, in preparing sinigang na sardinas. Fourth, to learn to balance the flavors in their sinigang na sardinas that they will be making at the end of the module. And then fifth is to embrace the spirit of culinary creativity by understanding how to adapt and experiment with a recipe. So they will make their, they will choose their own ingredients. So why sinigang and sardinas? So sinigang is a dish that typically offers a mix of nutritional components 
in vegetables and in meat. And also sardinas is an excellent source of omega-3 fatty acids for heart health and also protein and then vitamin B12 for nerve functions. So for the preparation, so the students will be shown different kinds of sinigang na sardina. So we have pork, shrimp, um, fish, and we have different vegetables that can be incorporated to sinigang. Next, please. And then for the materials for cooking, the kitchen utensils, chopping board, knife, pot, stove and gas, ladle, plate, bowl, spoon, and also table. Then for the ingredients, um, I, I strictly follow the 50 peso budget. So we have canned sardines, sinigang mix, one tomato, one onion, and then kangkong, batong, or string beans, then salt and three cups of water. I will show you the breakdown later in the video. So for the anticipatory set or motivation, so the students will be, will, uh, we will begin the lesson with lively discussion on Sinigang. So they will be asked questions to stimulate anticipation and get students to think about their preferences. So we have these question. Uh, a later pa ang question. And then, and then after the question, and then they will be shown the demo on how to make the sinigang na sardinas. So there, sardinas, tag 18, sinigang mix, 7, bombay, usa, tag gis, nakaroon, kamatis, 5, mm -mm, and then 5 nga batong, or string beans. So wash it thoroughly and then pick the leaves. Then cut the beans. Then slice the tomatoes. The tomato, pwede ay, kay usara man, kay on a budget man ta. Og ang bombay. And then poor man stu gud siya kay wala me can opener. Kuchilyo lang gud. So, mahimo dyan na ninyo with practice o gamay nga samad. Makaya na siya. And then, heat the pot. Then, add two to three cups of water. And then, separate ang sauce and ang fish, ang sardine. Okay, para dili siya malata. And then, i-add na dahil yun mga panakot. And then bring to a boil. And then add the batong. So it's up to you if gusto ka glata ka yung imuhang veggies. But for me, kanang sakto lang. Not so lata and also not undercooked. And then you can start adding your sardine sauce and then stir a little and then bring to a boil and then i-appeal na dayon ang sinigang mix so i prefer gabi it's up to you if you want to use shrimp fish so gabi lang among preference and then stir and then salt to taste and then add in the sardines and then 
ilast na ang tangkong para dili siya malata. And then simmer for a bit and then ready to serve na dayon. Ayun. Nana mo 50 pesos nga sinabaw. And also it's very flavorful. Mag-enjoy jud mo. Nya madaghan jud din yung rice. Okay, so for closure, after the lecture, discussion and cooking activity, the the students will be asked for insights and questions. So each group, okay, by group man, ang cooking, each group will share their experience in cooking, the challenges that they experienced in cooking, and also um, their experience and their thoughts on this improvised stew. And... Um, the lecturer may also give the students homework in looking for other easily accessible and inexpensive vegetables to be added to the dish. So, for example, eggplant or pet chai. Ngailang maad depende sa lang budget. But for mas mas nindot if 50 pesos mo stick sa budget kay poor man's two man siya. So, this way, the students will be encouraged to reflect on their cooking experience and propose creative variations to the recipe. That will be all. Thank you very much.